Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are doing another grocery shop with me and grocery haul. This one is gonna be a little bit different because of all of the recent things that are going on around the country and around the world. Everybody is taking everything off the shelves, including, I'm sure you all know, all of the toilet paper. So I have toilet paper, but I wanna go ahead and stock up on some more things before I run out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go to Target now, and then I think me and Alex are gonna go to Walmart tonight at like midnight when most of the people aren't there and see if there's anything left. But it's getting crazy around here. So I got gas because apparently they're saying that places are running out of gas too. The guy that's getting gas right in front of me just filled up a huge jug of fuel. So. Yeah. Also, if you are new here, I do grocery hauls on my channel every week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And I also do grocery shop with me's and hauls on Instagram. So go follow me over on Instagram if you are not already. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I made it inside of Target. Of course, I ended up in the clothes section like always. But it's really quiet in here and it's not really busy like I thought it was going to be. So. That's a plus, but maybe that's because there's no food. I should probably head over that way. But first, look at these cute little bags. I don't know if the camera's doing it any justice, but those are adorable. If the girls have school canceled, we're gonna need some things to cook for breakfast, some fun stuff to make. Never tried those before. I know I've showed them before, but these are really, really good if you've never tried those. Okay, I did find these new Annie's products cookie dough protein bars. They have chocolate peanut butter and then just the regular peanut butter. I don't know how new these are, but I have not ever seen, especially these two right here. I've actually never seen this either or this up here. Okay, check out these new Simply Pop-Tarts. They have Orchard Apple Cinnamon, Harvest Strawberry. I know the cupcake ones have been out for a while. It says new on there, I don't know. I've never seen this one. Maybe I've just seen the vanilla. I'm not sure. Okay, so I've been looking for these everywhere. And these, they have pink and green colored cream on the inside with glitter. I'm trying not to get these people on camera, but this is the toilet paper aisle and napkin aisle at Target. Target does not have one single roll of toilet paper in the entire store. Good thing I came here for just a few essentials and some Kleenex. They have plenty of Kleenex. I mean, if people really need toilet paper, they can just grab some Kleenex, right? We got plenty of that. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is new. I've seen this online, if I can get it to focus. Peaches and cream flavored icing, cinnamon rolls. I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night Wanna catch in my photos, where you go Every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see the Stockholm lights So, right now I really am not sure what all the fuss is about Because Target had plenty of everything Except for toilet paper And hand sanitizer and Lysol other than that, I think we are going to be able to eat. But the grocery store across the street is like super packed. The Target, the parking lot's almost empty, and the store is quiet. Very surprising. So I did order some paper towels from Grove. Here they are. Can you tell that I've been neglecting my front porch? But at least we have paper towels. Okay, so I'm home from Target. Me and Alex are actually still gonna go to Walmart tonight, but I thought I would go ahead and give you a small Target haul. The shelves were not nearly as empty as I thought they were going to be, besides all of the other stuff you knew was gonna be empty. So I didn't buy as much as I thought because the hysteria wasn't as bad. That's really what I'm worried about, just people buying everything. So 
I'm gonna wait to go to Walmart and get most of this stuff tonight, but I'm gonna show you this small haul first. Okay, I'm sure you saw that I just went on the porch and grabbed these two boxes. This is actually just paper towels. Seventh generation is our favorite brand, paper towels, and I had some credit on Grove, so I went ahead and ordered those. I'll leave my Grove link down below. You can actually get, I think, a full five-piece set for free if you use my link if you've never shopped there before. So go ahead and do that, and then you can get your friends referred and earn money as well. And then I just grabbed this bowl mix of chips because these are mostly our favorites, and I don't think my Walmart has this one, not that I've seen. I did buy four pounds of ground beef just because I have had people tell me in the area that the local Walmarts do not have any left. I did grab some chicken breast and there's been talks of the schools closing down so i grabbed these for just a fun thing for the girls and myself to make along with this because i saw this in the store like i showed it and i'm pretty sure maybe it's not new i've never seen it before but anyway i grabbed that i got this because we needed it and y'all I finally found my Peeps creamer. I thought I was not gonna be able to find it this year. It's probably my favorite creamer of all time. You would think the birthday cake is, but no. This beats them all. Grabbed a regular French vanilla because if I'm gonna be stuck in this house, I've gotta have my coffee. Example, I bought two of these and I still have a full one in the fridge because my Walmart runs out of these. So when we go tonight, I'll see if they have them, but I probably won't buy any more. Got a case of water, and Target did have limits on all of their water, paper towels, anything like that. They had a four per person limit, but I only grabbed one case. And then we were out of tissue paper, so I just went ahead and grabbed some Kleenex, and I think this is the Target brand. And then, good thing, the other day I went and got some toilet paper from a local grocery store because Target was completely out. All right, so it's Friday night and me and Alex are about to go grab a bite to eat, probably get some wings and some drinks, and then we are going to go to Walmart. And by the time we get to Walmart, it will probably be about 1 a.m., but I'm hoping that means a lot of people are cleared out. They've restocked the shelf some, so we shall see. I will keep you updated. Let's go. All right, here we go. Wish us luck. So I just found these and Alex said they're not new, but I've never seen them before. But it does say now with more cookies. Oh, y'all hear Alex, he said that ain't toilet paper, that's paper towels. Well, here we go. No toilet paper. Good thing we have some already. Wait, no. No, paper towels, I was wrong. I mean, no juice. hardly any eggs okay I think these might be new and um, nobody apparently wanted them because the whole store is out of stock except for this stuff here is the water as you can see there is none all right these must be like sponsored by the voice or something but has anybody seen these new hot sauce chips I think Alex is gonna put something back and get these I saw him walk over there you want these? I have been looking for these everywhere and I finally found them. In the midst of all this craziness, I did find this. Snickers chocolate low fat milk. It's not even refrigerated, but they carry six packs of it now. I've seen it in the bigger, like 20 ounce bottles, but never like this. Okay, we are out of Walmart. I'm out of breath. That was a totally different experience than Target. They did not have anything. Wait till you see my grocery haul. I'll go ahead and tell y'all how much we spent in Walmart. We spent $158. There will be no guessing this week. Because I also have that Target haul as well that you've already seen. It's chaotic. I'm gonna have to find a local grocery store in the morning to see if I can find some more canned goods and stuff like that because all of the shelves were empty. But 
let's head home and I will show you guys my haul. All right, we are finally home and I want to remind you, they hardly had anything. I wanted to get a bunch of canned goods and they were out of pretty much everything. They didn't have fruit, vegetables, nothing. It was ridiculous and I love to get strawberries and bananas for smoothies and stuff. No, didn't have any. So, grabbed some of these tricks marshmallow cereal i've been looking for these magic fruity pebbles for a few weeks now since i found they came out so i grabbed those we grabbed two bags of these chips these are only a dollar each at walmart so that's a really good deal and they taste really good these are my personal favorite and alex's surprisingly they still had some milk left so grabbed a gallon of milk some diet cran apple they didn't have many soups left i mean the the canned food aisle was so scattered and messy these are what I found. I've never tried this one before. It's chicken broccoli cheese with potato, creamy chicken noodle, and chicken cheese enchilada flavor. I grabbed this Michelangelo's lasagna with meat sauce to have one night. Also, I found this when I was looking for new stuff, and Alex decided he wanted to get it. It's limited edition dragon fire boneless chicken bites. I will not be eating those, but he will. Grab some sharp cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese sticks some singles for sandwiches i wanted these this is all me grab the yogurt for aubrey's lunch they are still having school as far as i know um they did have lunchables on sale you guys know i usually don't buy lunchables anymore because they're so expensive now but they actually had these on sale so i went ahead and got a few um the ones with pepperoni, just cheese, and then these are my personal favorite, just a snack on. We got some of this sauce to try, and then we actually have some pork we're gonna be making this week, so got this sauce to add to it. We we're almost out of sugar, so I grabbed some sugar, some Uncrustables for Ansley's lunch, real bacon pieces. Alex wanted that, I'm not sure why, maybe salads. We got this, we're gonna have taco night one night this week. Pretzel sticks for Ansley. She likes to dip them in hazelnut. And y'all know Vienna sausages also for Ansley. This is like the only mac and cheese they had left. They had no regular. So I just grabbed these two. Hamburger helper. I guess we'll have that this week. I mean, there's like nothing. I'm so glad when I was at Target that I grabbed some ground beef and chicken. I did grab a 12 count of eggs and I heard a lot of stores didn't even have eggs left so I'm thankful for that. A lot of chips here. Got these and these. I showed you guys these in the store. We were out of paper plates so grab those. We got two of these just because they had them in stock so we decided to grab them. More of this for Piper. We're gonna put this sauce I was just telling you about on this and see how that tastes. We got a pizza. This is one of our favorite ones from there. More trash bags, paper plates, Epsom salt because you know I love that stuff. Alex needed more deodorant. He also wanted to get some of these for his car. I have a little cough right now, so I got this and I cannot take liquid medicine, so I grabbed this. I'm surprised they even had this left. Most of the shelves were gone with all of the medicine. So that is everything that we got at Walmart. And like I said, it was like $158. But I actually had a coupon, so it was like $10 off of that. So it was more like $148. But I have one more thing to show you before I end the video. I also want to say that I know a lot of you guessed how much my grocery haul was on last week's video. I will be telling you the winner of that down in the comments below from last week's video. So if I reply to your comment, that means you were the winner. We will continue the guessing game next week. This grocery haul was kind of last minute. We decided to do it because everybody was saying that the shelves were like completely empty and they were right. So I'm glad we went. It's two o'clock in the morning when I'm filming this video. If y'all want proof, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 2.02 in the morning. And um, it is what it is. So, I have one more thing to show you that I got in the mail this week and I'm super excited about it. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is this box by Universal Yums. Universal Yums reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to try one of their boxes and I'm so excited to try it. 
They actually have three different sizes of boxes. This is, I believe, the Yum Yum box, and they send you snacks from a different country every single month. So the three different sizes they have are the Yum Box, the Yum Yum Box, and the Super Yum Box. So the Yum Box starts at 15 a month, the Yum Yum Box, which is what I have, starts at 25 a month, and the Super Yum Box starts at $39 a month. So you can actually get this if you're in the UK, all 50 states of the US, Puerto Rico, Guam, Israel, Australia. There's so many different places, and if you live in the US, your shipping is actually free every single time. So. I'm ready to dig into this box and see what I can find. If you want to try this box out for yourself, you can actually click the link below. I will leave a link in the description box, but me and Alex are so excited to dig into this. Y'all are getting my first impression because I haven't even seen what's in here. And by the way, they always have like games and trivia and stuff in these boxes too. This month, it is France. How cool is that? It's got a whole book. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I am so excited. And the good part is every single item is in here is full size. There's no sample size anything. So let me show you. So the first thing we have is some French dusted truffles. Interesting. These look like potato chips. I can't read French, but more potato chips. The yum bag, ooh, wild. I guess it's like a surprise. Truffles bar. I love how all these countries have different stuff that we don't have. Ooh, that looks delicious. Dark chocolate's my favorite. Mini roll. I don't know why I'm so excited about these right here. Pure butter biscuits. You can go through the book and see everything they have. But like I said, Click the link down below if you want to try this. I highly recommend it because I love being able to try stuff from all over the world. So definitely check it out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it was kind of all over the place because y'all know everything going on right now with the entire world with the virus that's going on and the shelves are being emptied. So yeah. This grocery haul was a little bit different than normal, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already because I do share grocery hauls and shop with me's on there pretty much three to four times a week. So if you like that kind of thing, I will leave my handle right here on the screen and down below in the de description box as well. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.